Here at Hot Stainless, we're oftentimes asked, how easy is it to install a cable railing system? Well, in today's video, we're going to take you through a cable railing install from start to finish using our Haas Stainless Access cable railing system. We post a ton of really helpful cable railing tutorials here on our YouTube channel, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. For today's install, we're going to be installing the Access system on this newly constructed deck that was built by our friend Christian Lawson of Lawson Builders. The first step of our install was to pre-assemble all of our tensioners and end stops and then mark all of our posts for the holes that we are going to be drilling. All of the termination and intermediate posts on this deck are all 4x6s, so we used our Haas stainless hole marking template for our 4 inch sides of our post and then we made our own template from some cheap materials at Lowe's for our 6 inch sides of our post. After marking all of our posts, we started drilling out all of our intermediate posts with a 3 8 inch spur tip spade bit, drilling halfway from one side and then halfway from the other so that the two holes meet in the middle. After drilling all of the holes in our intermediate post, our next step was to pre-install all of our straight receivers for our tensioners and end stops at all of our termination posts. After installing all of our straight receivers at our termination post, our next step was to take a measurement in between our termination post to determine how long we need to pre-cut our cables for our cable runs. We pre-cut all the cables that we would be needing all at one time and then brought them all up onto the deck and laid each one down next to their respective cable runs. Next, we grabbed all of our pre-assembled straight tensioners and then threaded them in to the straight receivers where we would be installing them at our termination post. After pre-threading all of our straight tensioners into our receivers, the next step was for us to swage on all of our swage studs for our end stops. With all of the studs swaged onto the end of our cables, our next step was to thread in each cable into the straight receivers for the end stops. Next, we threaded our cable through our intermediate post, applying our wood post protectors as we went. At this point, our cables have been secured at one end of the run by our end stops and ran through our intermediate post, so our next step is to measure, mark, and cut our cables for the tensioners. After cutting our cables to the correct length, we unthreaded our swage studs off of each tensioner and then swaged on each stud to the end of our cables. Next, we threaded all of our studs back into our tensioners and got everything hand tight. Woo! 
After getting the first cable run hand tight, we repeated the same installation procedures for the remaining two cable runs until those were hand tight as well. Installing the cable railing system is relatively easy to do. Keep in mind that it's a good idea to stay organized and have a good game plan for how you're going to complete your own install. The last step of our install is going to be to complete final tensioning for our cable runs. When tensioning up all the cables in your cable run, it's important that you follow a specific tensioning sequence so that all of the cables are equally tensioned. If you'd like to learn more about how to properly tension up axis straight tensioners, check out the link in the description below. Today's cable railing install took us roughly three hours to complete, and we think that it looks awesome with the stained posts and handrails that are on this deck. If you'd like to learn more about how to install your own cable railing system, then be sure to check out our cable rail basics video. If you have any questions about today's install, then drop us a comment. And if you found today's video helpful, then be sure to give it a like. I'm Tyler with House Stainless. Thanks for watching.